Hello everyone, I am Pradhna Gullane from Computer Engineering Department, ASSMS IOIT Pune. Today, I am going to explain relation and its properties. So first, uh, the introduction of relation is, if we want to describe a relation between elements of two sets such as A and B, we can use ordered pair with their first element taken from A and second element taken from B. The definition of relation is, let suppose we have A1, A2 up to A n, num n number of sets, uh, finite sets and uh, a subset R or the relation of the Cartesian product of A1, A2 up to A n is called a n array relation on set a1 a2 up to a n if the value of r equal to phi then relation r is called wide or empty relation if r equal to the cartesian product of a1 a2 up to n number of set then the relation r is called universal relation if the value of n equal to 1 or 2 or 3 then the relation R is called unary, binary, or ternary relation, respectively. Suppose we have two different sets, A and B. Then we have two sets so that it is a binary relation. Now the uh, binary relation from A to B is a subset of the Cartesian product of A and B. In other words, we represent the relation R is a subset of the Cartesian product of A and B. We use the notation A is related to B with A R capital R B to denote the A and B are the elements of the relation R. Here A then R slash B denote they are not related with each other so that a and b are not uh, as an element of a relation r when a and b are belongs to r then we said a is to be related with b by relation r now next point is relation on set the definition a relation on set a is a relation from A to A, in other words, the relation on set A is a subset of the Cartesian product of A and A. For example, suppose we have only one relation, sorry, one set A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the 1, 2, 3, 4 are the elements of the set A and the condition is the relation R on set A equal to A is always less than B. Now here A and B two different element and both elements are belongs to set A only. So here the first element always less than the second element. So we have only one uh, set so that we find out the all terms which is first term in which first term is always less than second term. So the first term may be 1 comma 2, then second term is 1 comma 3, third term 1 comma 4, same way 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 4. So the solution is the relation R which satisfy the above condition A is less than B. So that 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 4. In this way, we write down the relation for the single set. Then properties of relations. There are four basic properties on relation. First one is a reflexive. The definition of a reflexive property is a relation R on set A is called reflexive if A comma A are belongs to relation R. It means the same element present two times in a one term and it is true for every element of A. And irreflexive is the opposite of a reflexive. A relation 
on set A is called irreflexive if the term A comma A is not present in a relation R for the every element of set A. Okay, so suppose we have a relation, sorry, we have a set A, its elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we find out the relation are reflexive or not. Now we have four term, four elements, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, in a first relation, we have the terms 1, 1, comma, 1, 2, comma, 1, 3, sorry, 2, 3, 3, 3, and 4, 4. Now, if it is a reflexive, then we want 1, 1, sorry, 1, comma, 1, 2, comma, 2, 3, comma, 3, and 4, comma, 4. But here, in this relation, 2, comma, 2 term is missing so that it is not a reflexive relation, it is a irreflexive relation. Then, second relation. In this relation, 1 comma 1 is present, 2 comma 2 is present, 3 comma 3 is present, and 4 comma 4 is present. So that it is a reflexive relation. Now, in a third case or the third relation, 1 comma 1 is present, 2 comma 2 is present, and 3 comma 3 is present. But for the fourth element, 4 comma 4 is missing. But according to our definition, we want this. Uh, 4 comma 4 must be present because for every element a which belongs to set a so that here the 4 comma 4 term is missing so that it is not a reflexive relation so it is a irreflexive relation then next property is a symmetric the definition of a symmetric uh, relation is a relation r is set on set a is called symmetric if a comma b belongs to relation r whenever b comma a also re, uh, belongs to relation r for the all a comma b belongs to set a <coughs> then antisymmetric a relation r on set a is called antisymmetric if a equal to b whenever in a relation a comma b is present and b comma a also present Asymmetric is a uh, opposite uh, of a symmetric. A relation R on set A is called asymmetric if A comma B belongs to set R and B comma A are not a part of relation R. For all A comma B belongs to set A. Now, suppose we have the set A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have some relation, we find out whether they are symmetric, anti-symmetric or asymmetric. So first relation is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3 and 4, 4. So here 1, 2 is present and 2, 1 is present. So it satisfies the definition of a symmetric relation. So this one is a symmetric relation. It is not anti-symmetric or asymmetric. Then second relation. In a second relation, we have only one term, one comma one. It means it is a symmetric and anti-symmetric also. It satisfies both properties. Then third one. In third relation, one comma three is present, but three comma one is not present. So that it is not a symmetric. If it is not a symmetric, it means it is a anti-symmetric, sorry, asymmetric. And for anti-symmetric, no, it is not a anti-symmetric. So that the relation three is only asymmetric. Then in relation four, four comma four is present, three comma three is present. 1 comma 4 is present but 4 comma 1 is not present so that it is not a symmetric it means it is asymmetric and here we have 4 comma 4 term 3 comma 3 terms okay so that it is also anti-symmetric thank you